Hey there, and welcome back to Online Tech Tips. Today, I'm going to look at the best Wi-Fi encryption for speed and why that matters. Plus, I'll discuss why you should consider using a VPN. Wi-Fi is actually a collection of different technologies working together to get data wirelessly from one device to another. One of the choices you have is which encryption standard to use, and some are faster than others. So, which Wi-Fi encryption standard is best for speed and why is it faster? First, let's go over your Wi-Fi encryption options. Currently, there are three main choices. WEP, WPA, and WPA2. WEP, or Wireless Equivalent Privacy, is the oldest and least secure Wi-Fi encryption standard. It uses TKIP, Temporal Key Integrity Protocol, for encryption and has been officially abandoned since 2004 due to its weak security. WPA, or Wi-Fi Protected Access, was an upgrade to WEP, providing better security. It still uses TKIP, but can also use AES, Advanced Encryption Standard, which is much more secure. However, WPA is still relatively easy to crack today. WPA2 is the newest widely available standard and uses AES exclusively. It's by far the most secure and fastest option currently available. But cracks are starting to show, so it won't be around forever. For now though, I strongly recommend using WPA2 in every situation. So let's talk about speed. WPA2 using AES encryption is the fastest option available. The one exception is older routes that were designed for WPA, but later gained WPA2 capabilities, which might be slower due to hardware limitations. If your router came from the factory with WPA2 as standard, it's the best choice. However, even WPA2 is starting to become a liability due to various exploits such as the crack exploit. These aren't practical for mass attacks, but they can be used against specific local networks. The biggest security problem with WPA2 comes from public Wi-Fi hotspots, since the Wi-Fi passcode is also the encryption key. Anyone with access to the same Wi-Fi network can see each other's network traffic. This is why HTTPS and a private VPN, a virtual private network, are essential when using public Wi-Fi. WPA3 is the latest security standard for Wi-Fi, becoming mandatory for new devices in 2020 to receive certification. WPA3 uses better individualized encryption methods, closing the door on major vulnerabilities found in WPA2. It significantly enhances the safety of public Wi-Fi hotspots. On paper, WPA3 should be both more secure and perform better than WPA2. However, it will be years before WPA3 networks without any WPA2 devices become the norm, especially since smart devices like TVs and IP cameras don't get replaced as often as smartphones or laptops. Even worse, there have been quite a few vulnerabilities found in WPA3, so it's perhaps not quite ready for mainstream. More recent routers may be ready for a WPA3 update, so check with the manufacturer to see if it's possible for yours. While it may seem that no encryption or simple encryption would speed up Wi-Fi performance, the impact of AES encryption on Wi-Fi speed isn't noteworthy. It's far more important to use the correct Wi-Fi band and optimize network conditions to improve performance. Instead of worrying about your Wi-Fi encryption standard slowing things down, check these factors. Do you have enough signal strength? Are you using the fastest band with good signal strength? Are there any sources of interference or many other Wi-Fi networks around? Remember, there's a difference between the speed of the Wi-Fi connection to your device and the speed of the internet connection to your router. An internet speed test will only show results as fast as your internet service. To test the speed of your local Wi-Fi network, you'll need a tool like LAN speed test. For the ultimate in speed and reliability, consider switching to a wired Ethernet connection. Wired connections aren't subject to the factors that make Wi-Fi performance fluctuate and can give you the full benefits of a fast connection, assuming your Ethernet card, cable, and router all support a given speed. Finally, strongly consider using a VPN. While WPA2 is the fastest and most secure Wi-Fi encryption standard currently available, it's not entirely secure, especially in public hotspots. A VPN can add another layer of security, ensuring your data is protected even if your Wi-Fi security is compromised. It can also provide privacy from your internet service provider since your data is encrypted even when leaving your network and entering the internet. So, set your Wi-Fi to WPA2 and forget about it until WPA3 becomes available. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon for more tips and tricks. See you next time.